What's up dudes? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are theorizing the country called Faroe Islands. Yarn of Drill, let's dissect the flag. The Faroe Islands flag makes a lot of symbols. The white represents there's a lot of ice in there and the blue represents it's surrounded by ocean meaning it's an island, and the red represents their volcanoes. Yeah, there's some volcanoes, but most of the time they don't erupt. And the official seal of Faroe Islands is just a simple goat or some animal, I guess. I don't know which animal it's called, but if you don't know of this, then... I'll definitely tell you in the next video or not because it's an animal that I don't know. And however, the country is surrounded by the ocean and it doesn't border anyone, but it's technically close to Iceland, Norway, and the United Kingdom. Which means that it used to be a part of the United Kingdom, but Faroe Islands said it was not. It was owned by the Kingdom of Denmark. And Faroe Islands is located right next to Denmark, geographically next to the United Kingdom. And the Faroe Islands was established in 1767 by the... Dead Kronwin Sudwick, and there is a satellite image of the Fair Islands. It is not just one island, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty islands. And the sky waves from Oslo in the distance and an October evening in Oslo. And this is where the National Flower comes in. And there's Atlantic Puffins and Sumbas. And this is the Queen of Denmark currently. And that's the Danish Prime Minister. And that's right there is the current Prime Minister. It used to be controlled by the Danish Empire known as Denmark and Norway. But split and Norway declared independence. But it conquered Sweden and made itself Norway and Sweden. And it Independence Day is July 29th, 2005, and the capital is Tufran, and it's the largest city, and their official language is Faroesian and Danish, and their ethnic group is Faroe Islanders, and their religion and is currently Christianity, monarch is Margaret II, and Lenny Moore Johnson and the Prime Minister's Board as Johnson's, which are currently Prime Minister and Monarch, just in case. And their area is 1,399 kilometers, is not ranked, and its water is 0.5%, and its population is 52,000. That's pretty small. But again, it's pretty big. With over 52,000 people, that's not that bad. And it's 214th largest country in the world by population. And their GDP is 3 billion. And their per capita is 61,000, which are not ranked. Because the people think that Faroe Islands is not an independent country. Some people theorize it, but 
like most of it in Furies, is because it's a part of the Kingdom of Denmark. And their currency is French. I couldn't understand this language. And their internet TLD is FO. And their driving side is right. And their and their time zone is UTC zero zero, and the summer is UTC one o'clock. One o'clock. Yeah, it's like dead center. That means if it's dead center, it doesn't have a time zone until summer, and it's in a deep, deep north. Yep, it's in the deep north. In 60 degrees north. You can see the circle from earlier. And it's a small country. It is not ranked. And usually, its population today is 52,000. But once it was founded, it had 4,000 people. And then... It stayed like that for until 1350, and then 1769, it went 4773. So, in these centuries, it also won't until 1801. It hit 5,000 people in 1801 and exploded in 1834. 6,000, 8,000, 1850, and 1880, it reached 11,000, 1900, 15,000, and reached 22,000 by the time of 1925, and 1950, it reached 37,000 people, and then it exploded by going 4,000 to 40,000, by the time of 1975, and it currently, and it jumped all the way to 50,000 in 2020. So it might be the first actual country to reach 500,000 people, and it's pretty good country. And although it's a small country. And it has no national anthem because it's part of the Kingdom of Denmark. But if it declared independence today, then Denmark would immediately recognize the independence of that country. But I think it declared independence in 2005 because I see it in most maps. Because in Google Maps, once I see this map gun right there, I see the entire country of Faroe Islands. That means that it's totally recognized by sovereign UN nations. But I don't think it's recognized by US, but very little countries recognize this small little country. And it feels short, so... Thank you for watching this video. Hope you have an amazing day. A great day, and I'll see you next week.